All right, guys, today we're going to do Unit 8, Section 4, and it's talking about transforming the quadratic function. Okay, so um, let's look at this graph here. And what we have here is we have our parent function. And our parent function is f of x equals x squared. Okay, so all other functions... that are not this function are transformations, okay? A transformation is a slide, left and right, up or down, okay? So we know that this parent function, f of x, x squared, is a quadratic function because we can write it in the form a x squared plus b x plus c, where a equals 1, b equals 0, and c equals 0. Okay? And then the last thing are zeros. Our zeros are where they cross. Cross our intersect the x axis. Okay? So we have our parent function, f of x equals x squared. Our vertex, our origin, is at the 0, 0. And our axis of symmetry is where it separates that parabola into half, which is our x coordinate. And then our zeros or where it crosses or intersects the x-axis. This one has one zero, and it's right there at zero. Okay, so now we're going to look at some other functions besides just the parent function, all right? So we do have the parent function here, f of x, which is x squared, and it is quadratic. A is 1, B is 0, and C is 0. Okay? All right. So when we look at this quadratic function, because A is greater than 0, we know that it's going to open upward. All right? So here it is. Upward. All right. So now we're going to talk about transformations of the parent function. So we've got g of x, which equals 1 half x squared. Now this is a quadratic function because a is 1 half, b is 0, and c is 0. All right? A is greater than 0, so it is also going to open upward. And then we have our last function here, which is this h of x. This is also a quadratic function because A is negative 3, B is 0, and C is 0. This is also a transformation of that parent function there, okay? All right, so um, A here is less than zero, so this one will open downward. Downward. Okay? So let's compare these three functions. Okay, what is the same about these three functions? Well, we have a 1, a 1 half, and a negative 3. That's not the same. But look at your b and c, b and c, b and c. So your b and your c are the same. What's different about these three quadratic functions? What's different is your a, because you have 1, you have 1 half, and you have negative 3. 
All right, so let's look at the graph. All right, what is the same when we graph it? Well, your axis of symmetry is the same. It's this right here, separates all three parabolas in half. That's at zero. Your vertex is the same at the origin, zero, zero. What's different is the widths of the parabolas. You have the red one, your parent function, your green one, your g of x, and your blue one, your h of x. So if, if the width of the three parabolas is different and the a is what's different, you've got to look at the a to see the width of the parabolas. Okay? So for the widths, you have a equals negative 3. This blue one is the narrowest. Then you have um, a equals 1. And then you have a equals 1 half. Okay? So the rule for this would be the absolute value of a less than 1 is going to be wider. Absolute value of A greater than 1 is going to be narrow. Okay? Because the absolute value of A here, negative 3, is 3. Absolute value of 1 is 1. Absolute value of 1 half is 1 half. Okay? So the narrowest is the one that is the greatest, which would be 3, then 1, and then 1 half. And that's what we're going to talk about and work with today. All right? Okay, so we got our first question here. And we've got our f of x equals... 3x squared, and g of x, which equals 1 half x squared. Okay, so it says compare the graph of the function with the graph of the parent function right here. Um, hold on a minute, guys. I'm on the wrong paper here. Okay, I have the wrong instruction. So it's order the function from the narrowest graph to the widest. Okay, so... Let's start with f of x, 3x squared, okay? So on this one, let's go ahead and see if it's a quadratic function. So a equals 3, b equals 0, and c equals 0, okay? And then we have our g of x, where it's 1 half, x squared, or 0.5x squared, a is 1 half, b is 0, c is 0. Okay, so we're going to look at a. a is 3, so the absolute value of a here is 3. Right here, a is 1 half, so the absolute value of that is 1 half. So the one with the greatest number, 3, is the narrowest. And that's this f of x. So f of x, 3x squared, is narrowest. And then you have g of x, 1 half x squared. Okay? All right, so now we're going to compare 3 over here. So we have f of x, which is x squared. a equals 1, b equals 0, c equals 0. So when you take the absolute value of a, you get 1. Then we have g of x, which is 1 half x squared. a is 1 half. B is 0, C is 0. So when you take the absolute value of A, you get 1 half. And our last function here, H of X, 
which is negative 2x squared. A is negative 2, B is 0, C is 0. So when you take the absolute value of A, you get 2. So the greatest number is the narrowest. So we have 2, we have 1 half, and we have 1. So H of X is the narrowest. And then we go, what's the next greatest? It would be this one, F of X. And then it would be your G of X. Okay? All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about um, adding a C on right here. Okay? Let me see. I guess I can erase this. Okay, so let's start with our parent function which is f of x, x squared, a is 1, b is 0, c is 1, okay? Then let's go with our green one, which is g of x, which is x squared minus 4, so a is 1, b is 0, c is negative 4. And then our last function, h of x, which is x squared plus 3, a is 1, b is 0, and c is 3. Okay, so let's compare what's the same and what's different here. And guys, I'm going to stop, make sure I don't run out of time, and I'll see you in just a second.